back to Ken Christine. Uh, let me focus on what exact possible question on acid and base. And if you are doing uh, uh, calculation in chemistry, um, you are studying, you are learning any course that relates to what acid and base calculation, then you're going to what pay clear attention or follow this video to the end because questions I'm going to explain to you in this video. Now, there are likely exam possible questions. So you want to take your, your notebook, your pen, and your calculator to follow through. Now, the good thing about this video here is that it's going to explain everything related to what acid and base, both are how to understand the concept of acid and base, uh, the particular concept, the Lewis theory, and how to solve calculation, pH calculation, pH, and KA, KB, strong acid and what strong base, weak acid and what weak base. So these are something I want to look at in this video. And I want to assure you here that by the time you finish watching this video, I assure you that uh, you'll be able to what, solve the majority of the problem you want to see in the exam related to what acid and base. So far, I've scanned through the past question, and these are questions that they normally reoccur over and over and over again. So you want to what, pay close attention. So let's get into it. So let me tell you what, what the first question is saying. Acid that contains more than one ionizable hydrogen molecule is called dash. Now, what I want to understand here is that we have a called monoprotic acid and polyprotic acid. So you have monoprotic, monoprotic acid, monoprotic acid, and uh, polyprotic acid. Acid. Now, we have the answer here that, that acid that contain more than one ionizable hydrogen molecule, or uh, ionizable hydrogen per molecule, is called dash. So, monoprotic, monoprotic only contain one ionizable hydrogen. Again, monoprotic, so those acids that contain one ionizable hydrogen are called monoprotic. Why those would that contain two or more, more ionizable hydrogen and I call it polyprotic. Do you understand? So don't ask that contain only one uh, ionizable hydrogen. That's hydrogen that can work ionized. It's called monoprotic. Why do that contain Two or more are called what polyprotic. I must know the example here. So example is you have HCl. HCl is a good example of what monoprotic acid because they only have one hydrogen to what to ionize. You the other example is what CH3COOH. It's a good example of what monoprotic because they only have one hydrogen. Just the other example is what H. NO3. It's called what? Nitric acid. Just uh, it only has what one hydrogen to what twenty lines. Just uh, so these are common examples of what uh monoprotic water acid. So what what, what now is the chance here? What are monoprotic acid? Monoprotic acid are acid that have what one ionizable what hydrogen that they have one hydrogen to what to donate. Just an uh, auto ionized. So these are what good example. Another example is what hydrogen. Fluoride, hydrogen fluoride. So we have many of them. So, but these are what the common ones into what pay close attention to. You get so polyprotic acid. That like what I said about polyprotic acid, there are two or more as ionizable what hydrogen. Just now. So a good example is what what what's called H2SO4. It's called sulfuric what acid. It's called sulfuric what acid. So they have two, they have this will have two ionizable what hydrogen. Another example. Phosphoric acid PH3PO4. Now, this will have three hydrogen that can, that can ionize. Just an HPO4. They have H2CO3. We have H2 so carbonic water acid. You get carbonic acid. This will call phosphoric water acid. Now, this will call sulfuric water acid. So, here we have another one H2C2. O four. So you have H two C two O four. This is called ozalic water acid. Ozalic 
acid. I there. So differentiate the, between two of them. When the protic acid, these are them. But we, here we have the protic acid. These are them. So you are going to see them. They, they may ask you in the exam and give uh, provide two or more examples. Do you understand? So if you should cut it very well, let me just break some down. Now look at what the polyprotic what the monoprotic acid. Now let us ionize. So you have HCl. What? Now when you ionize it here, you have what H plus plus what Cl what minus. Do you understand? So that is it have only one hydrogen. Do you understand? It have only one hydrogen. Another example you have CH3 COOH. Now, that is here we have H plus plus CH3 COO minus. Can you see that? They are what aqueous. So they have what one hydrogen. Here we have so here, HNO3. Here we have what H plus aqueous plus what NO3 minus aqueous. That is it. Then we have HF aqueous. Here we have H plus aqueous plus what? F minus aqueous. That is it. So these are what monoprotic acid. So let me look at what the uh, polyprotic acid again. Let's know how to, uh, to write the, uh, the equation. Write the, the, uh, the ionic what equation. So let's say it's possible H2XO4 aqueous. Now, when you when you sachet it here, we have H plus plus what X O four two minus. Here we have right now. If you should balance the reaction here, now how many hydrogen you have? Here we have two hydrogen. So here we put two hydrogen here. So that is our only two ionizable words hydrogen. Do you understand? So the same with this one here. H two C O three. Picious. What do you have here? You have H plus plus what? CO3 2 minus. Now, yeah, the hydrogen here, we have two hydrogen, we have to put two hydrogen. Just hands. Now, the same thing here, H3PO4. You have now have what? H plus. Plus what CO3 2 minus here we have what, 3. So here we have 3 invisible words hydrogen. The last one here we have H2C2O4. Here we have what H plus aqueous plus what C2O4 2 minus, right? So you put this in here. So now they may, they may ask you to what, try the what the ion court equation. So that's why I'm actually what going to the link to what show you this one here. So that is for for the first question. If you follow if you are following this class here, please leave a comment section that you follow this one here. So ask that contain more than one ionizable hydrogen formula, which is called polyprotic poly acid. And I'll give you so many what example, right? So, you have to look at what the second question. Second question. This paid attention here because when I, when I look at, when I look through, through the past question, when it comes to ask them pains, no, no matter the, the exam you are writing, you must see this question. So, you want to pay close attention here. Is that, give the conjugate pains of, of the following acid ACL and what H2CO3. So, now, we're talking about conjugate pains, uh, conjugate acid and what conjugate pains. Now, the the, the, the acid concept that I actually looking at is called Brasilelli concepts. So in Brasilelli concepts, Brasilelli concepts. I get it. So now, what happened in Brasilelli concepts? Do you, do you because it is Brasilelli concept which we understand this year. In Brasilelli concept, an acid donates a proton. I get it. So in Brasilelli concept, acid donates proton either to form to form a conjugate conjugate what base very important 
acid donates a proton to form a conjugate base. Do you understand? So the release now the special hours release a proton in what in as that base reaction is called what the acid. And whenever an acid donates a proton, you form a, a conjugate or base, which I want to look at. Now, why base accepts accept what proton to form conjugate conjugate what acid very very important you get that so these are the two main uh key definition when it comes to what bosley concepts bosley concept in what acid or what and base acid don't a proton to form what a conjugate base why a base acid a proton to form what a conjugate what acid you get so now before we answer these two questions here look at look at this guy look at what these two let now look at what this one here because uh, because number two, number three, and number four, they goes together. Do you understand? So there are other words, Bosley concept of Asgard and peace. Explain because now we just want to explain, then I will explain more. Okay, so here we have from here. They say in this reaction, HNO3 plus H2 give out H. NH4 plus plus OH what minus. So here we have NH3 plus what H2O. Here we have what uh, NH4 plus plus what OH what minus. Okay, please look up. Now, ammonia is a what is a base. This is a base. Now, what I got to ask as an acid. Now, when I say um, ammonia in, in chemistry, it's always a base. Now, what I can either add as an acid or as a base, okay, is uh, after take what substance? If it's what is after take what substance? So, now, when ammonia reacts to water, because uh, water is a base, now, that is, so water is what is acid, then you're going to donate a proton. Just like you go to what donate a proton. So this guy will donate a proton, one proton. Now, how many hydrogen do you have here? Here we have two hydrogen. Now, when you donate a proton, how many hydrogen you left? One. You get it. Now, this one here is the one is base. Now, when I say a proton, that, that, that when I say what hydrogen, now when I say hydrogen, how many hydrogen do you have here? Here we have two hydrogen. Now, but when you gain one hydrogen, now become four, right? So when um, I when ammonia J1 I go for NH4 plus go for ammonium ion. This is called ammonia, it's called ammonium ammonium what ion. I did. So now this ammonium ion is formed when what ammonia accept what one hydrogen. You follow? No, so when ammonia accept one hydrogen for what hydrogen for what are here? How many hydrogen is here? Three. When it works, accept one hydrogen called what four. You understand? So it doesn't go to form so you understand? So you go to form. So this one is from I don't know what this guy that, that, that have accepted what a put of from this other one here. Do you understand? Now what happened what happened to this other guy? This guy of course you have not remained the same again, right? So this guy have lost what one hydrogen. Now when it lost one hydrogen, that would form O H minus. Do you understand? That is what O H minus here. Just now. So, yeah. So, then I find definition an acid from a conjugate base. So, this is the conjugate base of this acid. Just now. So, yeah, we have conjugate base. Conjugate base. Yeah, we have conjugate base. Now, yeah, is what base? It has accepted a proton, right? Now, when my a base accept a proton, it forms what a conjugate acid. So, here we have. Conjugate, conjugate what acid. There is it. Now, they say identify the conjugate acid base space. So, now how do you identify the conjugate acid base space? Understand here is that ammonia is what produces what ammonium ion. So, here we have NH3 is our NH4 plus. So, both of them are called uh, uh, conjugate acid base space. Just that they are called conjugate acid base base. And you make this why they are called conjugate acid base base because 
This one is what produces this guy here, right? So they are called pairs. They are called pairs. Now, here we have H2O slash what? O H minus. Do you understand? They are called pairs. So here we have conjugate pairs. Can call conjugate pairs. Here we have what? Conjugate. Conjugate what? Pairs. Conjugate pair. Conjugate pair. Do you understand? So, when you say in the in the reaction, look at this reaction here. Identify the conjugate acid base, acid base, conjugate acid base pairs. So that is this one. Okay, sorry. Yeah. In 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 the reaction here, we have HNO2 plus H2 used on here. Identify your conjugate acid base. Conjugate acid acid um base. You get so yeah, this one we move to this one. The conjugate base pairs. This one move to this one. They are called conjugate pairs. So the search word and the find them. So this is the answer. Just uh, this is what is the answer. You can see how easy it is. So now let's look at question two and what question three. From there, now you will be able to want to understand this proper. And we are done with this one. We are done with what this one here. So let us what question two and what question two. Let's see how we can answer it. Now you say what? Give the conjugate base for each of the following acid. Okay. So here we have two acids. Here we have HCl and what? And H2CO3. It's okay. Now what we want to do here? I want to explain something to you. I want to I want to react it to water because water can act as a base and well as well as an acid. Just um, so imagine that HCl is reacting with water. Right? It's reacting with water, and H2CO3 is reacting with water. Right? And H2CO3 is reacting with water. Right? Now, what will happen here? What will happen here? Now, this one here, this acid, we donate a proton. Why is it we accept a proton, right? So, when water accept a proton from from this acid here, because here is what is the acid, here is what is the what base, right? So this water is going to accept a proton because uh, a base accept a proton. Why acid donate what a proton? So this guy what donate a proton to another one here. So what happened here? That I mean, I just here. We have two hydrogen. When it accept more hydrogen, I call it three hydrogen. So for me, like, you got to produce H three. O plus ion. I get so they call hydronium ion. Hydronium ion is formed when water accepts what a proton. So you have now have what a conjugate conjugate what conjugate acid. Because when now what a base accept a proton it form a conjugate what acid. Do you understand? Plus now let's add so that when this guy has lost a proton, right? When you lose a proton, what, what you have left is what? C N minus. Do you understand? So here we have called conjugate conjugate what base. Do you get that? So the conjugate base of this acid is what is C N what minus. Do you understand now? Is what C N minus. So the conjugate base of this guy is what is C N what minus. That is it. That is what conjugate what base. Because I said give the conjugate base of the following acid. This one here, the conjugate base of H N. Uh, I do sign is what cyanide what ion that like I've of lost one hydrogen. Okay, now let me move to this other one here. Right? So you can see that this one will lose a proton to this other one here. So I'm like to show you have one hydrogen, right? One hydrogen. So here, yeah, one hydrogen, one hydrogen should move here to here. Yeah, you have what H3O plus, right? H3O plus. Now, how many hydrogen left here? Now I have one hydrogen that is left, right? One hydrogen still got the plus H C O three what minus. It's okay. So in the sense that this guy, this acid here, produces a conjugate base. Okay, so this is the conjugate base of what of this acid. So uh carbonic acid. H to CO3, the conjugate base is what is when it lost what one I do. So it's going to be H CO3 minus. Just um, so the conjugate base of HCN is what CN minus. The, the 
Conjugate base of what? H, H to CO3 is what? H CO3 minus. Do you understand now? So we are done with this one here. Right? So I believe you should be able to what, answer this question. Number, number what? Three. Give the conjugate base of the following acid. Right? This following base of what? here. H C L O 4. Right? Now, when it lose what? One. Move the I dimension here. You're not going to have ClO4 what, minus. Do, 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 do you understand? So this is what the conjugate base of this acid. That is known. Conjugate base of what? So this is conjugate base of what for this acid. Now let me consider that one. Uh, HIO3, right? Now, when, when it lose one I dimension, you understand? Do you understand this Okay, we are copying. Look at something here. Now remember, when this, this is your acid. Acid donates what a proton, right? Then when you lose a proton, then it lost one, one hydrogen. It forms one here. So now when, when whenever hydrogen is being lost, what happens here? Neutral change to negative. So that will have ClO4 minus. Now the same thing here. How many hydrogen is going to be lost here? So the ion, what shall ion be formed? I will I to three minus do you understand? So this is it. Then this one. So you have NH4 plus. Now this one is already what a positive charge. Yeah, this one is already what a positive charge. So when you lose one hydrogen, what do you have? Here we have NH3. Do you understand? NH3. So they are what the conjugate base. So we are done with this one here. Right now, let me add this to that one. Question number five. It, now, this reaction is called is, is what is called auto ionization of water. Auto ionization of water. Auto auto ionization of water of water. Now, why is it auto ionization of water? There is two. Water molecule react together to form a proton what OH what minus. So now let's about this set of questions. Now this will be about to move into what the calculation aspect. But what I want to tell you here is that uh these the, are the type of questions I want to solve, calculation questions I want to solve in this video. But in my next video, we are, this video, I will really going to solve some tough, tough questions. So what I want what I advise you to do is to make sure you subscribe to the channel so that by the time I upload the next video, you'll be working with spark. Just um, so let me ask something here. This, this one is going to be the calculation aspect. So you calculate the value of H plus in neutral solution at 25 degrees centigrade. So you have this question, you have this question, you have what this question. So now what I want to show you here is what is the various formulas in calculating acid and base. Various formulas, various, various formulas in Calculating acids out and base. I get so there are the various formula involving that involve what calculation of what acid and base. So the first one you want to understand here is what is pH equals to what minus log H plus. So this is what the first formula you need to understand here. pH plus of minus log what H plus. You get so then that's when you are calculating what the pH of an, uh, an acid where I'll be giving what the constitution of what of the acid just that so this will be the simple formula what you use. So this one is based on what of, of, of when we are what is what is an acid. Now for me I can easily work calculate what the constitution of what H plus. So calculation of H plus here, yeah, H plus constitution equals what anti log anti log of minus what pH. So that's when a pH is given to you, I have been asked to calculate what the concentration of what H plus. Just um, usually what you use this word formula here. H plus concentration equals of anti log shift log minus the what the pH of the what of that as it given to you. Do you understand? So we also have what we call pOH equals what minus log concentration OH what minus. Do you understand? So that is when you talk about what base base. You talking about base, you understand? So when the now when the, the concentration of the base is beginning to, you have to calculate what the pH, the pH of what of that base, 
Do you understand? So from here you can you can say cosine of OH minus equals to what? Anti log anti log minus what P O H. This is that. Now the next one that I want to do is when you combine the two of them. P H plus P O H, right? So here we have P H plus what P O H is equals to what 14. P H plus P H plus what 14. So now, when add two of them together, it's always equals to what 14. Do you understand? The next one you have to look at is what? Constitution of H plus times constitution of O H what minus is always equal to what 1.0 exponential minus 14 at 25 degrees centigrade. That is it. Our 25 degrees centigrade. Now, all that you want to look at is what is the PSK. PSK. I did. PSK. Now, in the PSK, now let me say from here. So from here, now from 0 to what 14. I did. From 0 to 14. Now, we have a neutral point, which was 7. Now, any species or any, so any species or any what solution that have what a pH of 7, that is, is a neutral is a neutral water molecule, like the, the pH of a pure water, pure, that is water that is pure, is what is always what seven. That is neither what acid or base. Now, from 6.9 down to zero, the pH, this is called PSK, PSK. I get PSK tells what or the measure of what or the degree of what acidity or alkalinity. So from here you know the one that is what acid and what that is what base. So it is truly what the, P, the PSK you know, what the pH value you know, if if a solution is acid or what base, depending on what the pH value. So from 6.9 to what to zero, you have acid. So that is any any solution that have pH less than seven is what is acid. Do you understand? So if for example here we have pH to be what four. Then, especially that add the pH to, to, of four, that is what is, is, is what is an acid. Just um, if I ask for the pH of what of five point six, that is that is what is an acid. If I have pH of what one point zero is what is an acid, right? So any solution that have pH less than seven is what is an acid. Just um, why anyone that have pH greater than what seven is what is base. Just um, so you use what the pH value to detect if a solution is either an acid or what. The base, but if a pH is at what at the central point, which was seven, that is what is neutral, is what neutral. So these are the basic formula we use in what calculating what uh, acid and base. Do, do, do that. So depending on the type, depending on the question they give to you, do you understand? Depending on the question they give to you, that is where you have to what uh, know the formula to what to make use of. Do you So make sure you copy entire notes so I can tackle all this problem here. So now let's look at first one. Calculate the value of H plus concentration in a neutral solution at what 25 degrees centigrade. They say in a neutral solution. So what they search to calculate is what is what H plus. Right? They want to search to calculate. Now they say what in a neutral solution. In a what? Neutral solution. Now, what is the pH of a neutral solution? Seven. You get the pH of a neutral solution is what is seven. So here we have pH. Because what seven. So now let's calculate the constraint of this guy. I right, to calculate the constraint of this guy. Yeah, 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 use what that second formula gives to you. H plus equals to what anti log minus P H. Do you understand? You might understand. You're not following. So you understand. So now this, now because I say calculate the, the value of what H plus in a new what neutral solution at 25 degrees centigrade. You get now they, they, now they get now they say you calculate one here. They say now we it, how do we get seven because they say they want a neutral solution. So a neutral solution is what is seven. So remember, I gave you this formula here when you calculate what H plus, right? You this formula here. H plus also anti log minus what pH. You get so what do you do here now? You have to what impute what pH here, the what value of pH here, you get solution, you get what the constitution because we anti log. And it's what seven. It's okay. So it is the calculator you use to punch it. So how do you get your antilog? Your 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 calculator have what have uh, 
uh, the function here shift log so press shift log minus seven so the answer is what the answer is one point zero exponential minus what seven molarity that is it that is it that is the uh, answer just now so let's look at what question seven question seven let's look at what question seven okay if you look at question seven, yes, it says calculate what the constraint of, of H plus in a solution where you have OH minus to be 0.010. And you have this one to be what? 1.8. So 1.8 exponential what? Minus 14. So we have two ways we can actually solve this problem. There are two major ways we can solve this problem here. But if you check very well, I've given you the formula that what that creates H plus and what OH minus, right? Check, check to your notes. So I've given you the formula that, that says. H plus concentration times O H minus equals what? What is value? What is value? One point zero exponential what? Minus fourteen, right? This is what you have to use in the calculation. Although we still have another method to use, but this is what the easiest way. Now you are looking for what H plus, right? Now in the first question here, they gave us OH minus will be what? 0 0.0101, 0 molarity, right? So you have this one. OH minus equals to 0 0.0101 molarity. Is it clear? So it means that to calculate what? H plus. H plus constitution, that is hydrogen ion constitution, is equal to what? 1.0 exponential minus 14 over what? Over OH minus. Is it clear? Just and make it so you say formula here divide both sides by OH minus. So, what are you going to do here now? Here we have A and B, right? So, in the first one, you have A, that's I've calculated what A here. A is what 0 0.010. So, it's going to be uh 1.0 exponential minus 14 over OH minus what 0 0.0101. Yes, that is the answer. So let us let us use our calculator to point the answer. Here we have one point zero exponential minus fourteen divided by one point zero one zero. So it'll be one point zero exponential minus what swift molarity. There is it. Just on. So B B here we have O H minus equals to what one point eight exponential what. Minus nine molarity. So it's going to be H plus equals to what? 1.0 exponential minus 14 over uh, over 1.8 exponential what? minus minus nine. What be the answer? So you have 1.0 exponential minus 14 divided by 1.8 exponential minus nine. So it'll be 5.5556 exponential what minus six modality. That is it. Do you understand? So this is what this out of what to calculate it here. If you are following this video, please leave my comment section that you are following this video. It let me have a question. It's now what is question eight? Calculate what the concept of OH minus concentration of what I uh, I that I know. For each of the following solution, indicate whether the solution is acidic, basic, or neutral. So, how much is that? So, now here, here we have OH minus, right? They want the same to look for, right? Now, they say, now we have H plus constitution. So, I see we to use this formula here. Look at this formula here H plus. OH minus equals what 1.0 is initial minus 14, right? Now, since you are looking for what OH constitution now, you've got to be OH minus equals what 1.0 is initial minus 14, or what H plus I then just um, now. But understand that the essential what indicates if the solution is acidic, basic, or what neutral. Now, that is that is I want to use pH. I will calculate what pH is okay. 
So if I'm it's on the base value, I'll know if it's what acid is base or what neutral. Do you understand? So it means that if I want to calculate my OH minus here, now the A, A, what is my what? H, H plus constitution. H plus constitution is given to me as 0 0.0045 what molarity, right? So I want to use formula here. So to calculate OH minus constitution, you're going to be OH minus equals to, here we have. 1.0 exponential what, minus 14 over what 0 0.0045, right? So here we have 1.0 exponential what, minus 14 divided by 0 0.0045. So you have 2.22 exponential minus 12, right here. But is this solution as the or basic? So this way I want to use pH equals to minus log. Now, H plus concentration is what? 0 0.045. 0 0.045. Just um, So, you have to look for the pH of this guy. So, it will be minus log 0 0.0. I mean 0. 2 0. 0 0.045. Just um, So, it will be Minus log 0 0.0045. So now the pH is what? 2.35. It's okay. Now, for me, the pH is less than 7, right? You have to that when the pH is less than 7, it's, what? it's acidic. So you have acidic. Is that is acidic or solution? It's acid solution. Now, the main reason why it's called acid solution is because the pH is less than what? Seven just and as a matter of fact, it depends on 2.5, which was far below what seven. So that is what for the A for the B. Let's go for the B. The B here, uh, my H plus is what is 1.5 exponential minus what nine molarity. Just and so what my what OH minus constitution. Going to be 1.0 exponential of minus 14 over what 1.5 exponential of minus 9, right? So let's use our calculator to get our answer 1.0 exponential minus 14. That way, 1.5 exponential of minus 9. If we have 6.67, 6.67 exponential minus 6 molarity. Just a minus six of molarity, minus six molarity. So if I have minus six molarity, what do I have here? So here we're going to be for for him now. I want to calculate what the pH. So pH is equals to what minus log. Here we have one point five exponential minus what nine. It's okay. So here we have shift log minus. Uh, okay. Okay, minus log 1.5 exponential minus 9. So here we have 8.824. Right here. So this is our basic or acidic. 8.824 is it basic or acidic? Remember, remember I gave you a pre SK, right? 7. It is seven, and uh, it is seven. It's, it's base, right? So the, the pH is what more than what seven. So it's a base. Please listen. So you have base, base. Now this one is, is an acid. It's acidic because that the pH is what two point three five. That is amazing. In a solution of what one point one exponential minus three molarity and English, calculate the constant what of H plus. So that is concentration of what N A O H is equals to what uh, one exponential of minus three what molarity, right? That is it. One exponential minus three what molarity. They're asking what is the concentration of what H plus? 
what is the consumer of each clothes, right? Understand that these are ways and pattern they set the exam. These are questions got from the past question itself. So there are stuff that we should what should be expecting. So therefore, you want to associate this one here. N A O H is a base, right? Now, when when you associate any wish, yeah, what, what are you going to get? You're going to get N A plus A Q S plus what? O H minus A Q S. Just um, so when you associate what this base here, you have N A plus plus O H minus. You get so two of them have the same one. I don't know what we have here. We have one move. I don't know what of 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 which do you have here. Here we have one root move. Now remember what we have the same rule. The construction of what remains the same. So that is concentration of what O H minus is equals what concentration of N A O H, which equals what which is equals to one exponential minus what three molarity. What it means that what it means that means that. H O H minus equals what? One exponential minus or two or two molarity. Remember, I get from like H plus O H what minus equals what? One exponential minus 14, right? So if you make H plus the from like here, you get so that you have what? H plus equals what? One exponential minus 14 or what? O H minus. You get. So that is because they say you should calculate this guy here. So here we have h plus equals to 1 exponential out minus 14 over 1 exponential out minus 3. So you get an answer. So you have 1 exponential minus 14 divided by 1 exponential minus 3. Over you have one is on the short minus eleven. That is what that is the answer. Yes. Yeah. So we have come to the end of this class here. So make sure you subscribe to this channel for more of this video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel here for more of this what video.